So, here we are in Hawaii, the wonderful place, a tropical island out in the middle of the ocean. And the sad thing is, is I don't think they're really telling the truth about a lot of things due to the fact that they really don't know. And since they really don't know, I mean, they can't really give you an answer. Uh, as smart as these people and so forth are supposed to be, it's a sad reality because they really don't know. All right, They surmise, they possibly, this, that. There is no affirmative answers that they can give, which means that they don't know. All right, And it, it's... It's painfully obvious that, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pain. It's definitely painfully obvious that the USGS is learning as they go, almost as if this is a mass science experiment, which it is. People cannot afford to sit uh, idly by during this learning process. The community should insist on expedient results and affirmative actions to what's going on. You can tell they actually don't know what's going on. On how many times the words come up, we think or I think, are being used to the public. Which means they are honestly saying they don't know. They just don't know, okay? They are the experts, but they don't know any more than they do know. We think means we are honest about what we really don't know. If they are being forced to tell us at this late date, then it's far worse than they are saying or they even know. <laughs> and all those billions of dollars spent on researching this volcano... If they didn't even know it was going to explode, this is crazy. The so-called experts should have been communicating in this manner from the start. People should have the concerns addressed, not with planned questions. An area of the land on the south flank of the volcano known as the Helena Slump, about the size of Manhattan, is moving and could break off and slide into the ocean. As we all can see that across that section of that island, it's carving a line to separate the land mass, besides creating more land mass. They say that the bosses at the USGSA know about this and are intentionally concerned about it, and they're not letting the pu public know about it out of fear, causing panic. Media outlets in the Hawaii and Los Angeles areas have allegedly been specifically told not to say anything. Nothing. They do not want panic and fear for the same reason. It's a sad reality when the agencies that we fund will not actually honestly tell us the truth. Even if it's, we don't fucking know, okay? You look more stupid by acting like you do know and you're all scientific, but you don't know. You can't know this. And you don't have enough model or data to actually even predict anything about this. Because the data and the information that you do have isn't long enough to give you a real mock model of what it could possibly be doing. And let alone, you can't predict Mother Nature, baby. So, it's kind of like a fucking circus act. You know that. All right? With a lot of these official agencies, they don't know shit sometimes. But they act like it. So they don't look stupid. So they don't get the funding anymore. It's a sad reality, people. This is more dangerous than they're telling us. This is going to continue on for a while, mark my words. Um, and it's going to get worse than it is. Yeah, that's my prediction. 
And I, I, I truly feel that. 